This one is called Sweet Disposition. I'm uh, Leon Taylor. Uh, I was Olympic silver medalist in 2004 in synchronised diving. Uh, I'm one of BT's 2012 ambassadors and I've just made it round 26.2 miles here today in, uh, in London for the London Marathon. Sports Aid, um, the charity I ran for in 2009, it'd been Olympic year and they're looking after the future of, of British sport, both Olympic and Paralympic funding. Um, it was important for me to, to give something back, so 26.2 miles, fundraising and, and uh, yeah, I'm here, I've survived and I've got my, uh, uh, my finisher's medal. In 09, my first marathon, I got run in 3.53 and I went uh, 3.32 today. I smashed my personal best uh, by 21 minutes, which is yeah, a huge chunk of time off. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to be breaking any world records or challenging the Kenyans, but uh, yeah, I was really pleased actually. For 10 years I was the, uh, you know, the, the inventor of the world's most difficult dive, I carried the highest degree of difficulty, or did. Uh, now some of the boys are doing some things even more complex, but sport is like that, any sport you just raise the bar, raise the bar and raise the bar. I mean, you know, when you're running, it's, it's kind of, you do notice that there's people out there doing their thing, there was DJs, there was steel bands, there was all sorts going on. Uh, you know, I'm high-fiving loads of kids, there's jelly babies being handed to you, it's, it's just, it just brings everyone out. And, uh, you know, lots of people are there getting on the beers as well, and so it's a, a really kind of a unique atmosphere. It's less than 100 days to go now and, and London still doesn't know and the country doesn't know what's going to hit it. Having been to multiple Olympic Games uh, and seen the effect it has on a host nation and a host city, it's truly incredible and, and when it's just around the corner and we're not there yet, the whole place really comes alive and it's Olympic fever is, is just starting to build now um, you know, and, and lots of people are starting to be very aware of it. Obviously the, the big thing for me is, is supporting the British team, uh, specifically the, the, the diving team. Uh, I mentor a lot of the young athletes that are on that team. A lot of them are my close friends and so to uh, support them in any way I can as a, as a broadcaster and as a fan will be my, uh, yeah, my main passion at the time.